Whoosh! Good morning, ladies. My name is Chaz, and welcome to the... And sorry for that really long pause. The... I was just thinking. So, let's begin without further ado. So, in this video, I will go over a archetype called Soul of the Justice. So, I took... I usually have this habit of combining three cards, fusing them together to create a brand new archetype with by using three main cards. So let's begin. There's a lot of monsters. Monsters. So let's start with, hmm, let's see. Let's start with flames. Flames, flames is supposed to be, and each one is like, you know how there's soul thing and the, I forget what they called, but hold on, copyright music, incoming I mean, there we go. So, yes. So, reason why I said that is because I don't want my videos to be copyrighted. So, let's just continue this custom card review. So, this card is, and each one, I used an AI to fuse, like, to create, like, pictures. So, like, flame, choices, lore of light, power, and darkness lord. So... Yeah, and there's more cards that will come in the near future. So, yes. So, let's start with this card. So, Flames represents the, like, basically a immortal Flames. Or, like, the, yeah. Not a mortal Phoenix, but... Immortal flames. So it, that's why it's fire. So fire level four, a fairy effect monster. And it's if this card is normal summon, you can select five cards from in either graveyards, banish them, and if you do, then you draw two cards from the top of your deck to your grip. To your hand. And if this card is is special summoned. This has normal one. Like normal summoned. And banish all five. But if it's special summoned. You can pay 100 life points. Then get all card effects from your opponents. Until the end of your third turn. If this card is sent to the graveyard. Or banished. Basically, you can shuffle this card into your deck. Special Summon 1, Soul of the Judgment. It's like Solemn Judgment, basically. And Monster from anywhere. Or from your hand or deck to your field in attack mode. Except this card, so... So basically, there's two effects, or actually, one, two, three, yeah, three effects. So there's three effects for this one. First effect is basically has a card called, I believe it's. Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, I keep 
doing that, you know. Soul release. It's a spell card. Yeah. Learn that target f up to five cards in in either player's graveyards and then banish them. But the, yeah. And then number two effect is basically Solemn Judgment is basically you, instead of paying like half your life points to negate one card, but this card can basically allows you to negate all cards. Yeah, and then, yeah. Then the graveyard effect is basically you can special summon another monster with a different name. So then we got soul of the... Or, so I'm going to use their last name. So flames and then choices. So choices is a earth level four. Fairy Tuner Effect Monster with 1,500 and defense is 100 and, or no, 1,200 at defense. So, and its effect is if this card is normal summon or special summon, you can toss a coin and activate one of these following effects for once per turn. Heads, both players draw two cards from the top of their deck to their hand. And also, and they also gain 2,000 life points. Tails. Both players must mill four cards from the top of their deck to the graveyard. And also both players take or like basically lose 4,000 life points. And yeah. And if this card is sent to the graveyard or banished zone, quick effect, you can... Shovel this card into the deck. Special summon. They all have similar to like special summon each other's except for like each other's. So, and plus if you're really good or if you had really good luck and both players can basically get two cards and gain a whole bunch of life points. So then we got Light Lord. It's a light level four. Fairy effect monster, and it has the effect of if this card is summoned, you toss a coin, and once per turn during your end phase, you can send one monster you control to the graveyard, except this card, skip your opponent's next turn. And then Tails, once per turn, during your, your opponent's end phase, you can shovel three cards from your banner zone into the deck. Skip your opponent's battle phase. Or next battle phase. And this card cannot be engaged by card effects and cannot be chained by card effects. So, yeah. reason why I'm not saying, like, you can only use each effects for once per turn because yeah and this one represents or so the choice one is depends on or so each one has a meaning the flames represents the um, choices of if you want to normal summon it you can it's basically send five on or five cards to the graveyard or banner zone. Home and special summon it negates all card effects. So basically, you're safe from any infliction. And then we got the choices is that depends on a coin. That represents like your how your opponent and you are like friends with. It's like tarot cards, but with like, yeah. Then we got 
this run that, that allows is you to basically, if you want to either skip your opponent's turn and be like greedy thing, or being kind and skipping your opponent's battle phase. So it's basically like be skipping your entire opponent's turn or have skip their battle phase. So like peaceful route or the yeah. And then we got the spell card soul of the or so power hours. You can pay 1000 light points to normal summon one soul of the judgment flames then its effect basically yeah and then but it goes from 100, I almost said 1,000, but yeah, to 5,000 points. So it's attack points. So basically, it is using it, all of its power to like, yeah. So then... This one is a new card of today because I made this run, this run, this run, this run yesterday. So today is this run. So Darkness Lord, Dark, O4, Fiend, Flip Effect Monster. Once it flips, you can select one Dark Attribute Monster or one of these guys. From your deck or graveyard to your to be special summon to your field. Inflict five hundred damage to your opponent's side points. To your opponent's side points. So yeah. Once per turn during your end phase, you can shuffle three cards from your graveyard or banner zone into your deck. This card gains 1,000 attack and defense. You can only use, or you take no damage evolving this card, and you can only use this effects for once per turn. So basically, once it's flipped, and you didn't see it, but I tried to literally use my phone to like use flip thing, thing, and yeah. So, and this run is supposed to be, like, represents, like, how some, like, if movies or TV shows, there's always that dark creature or dark something lurking in the darkness and waiting for you, you to jump out or wait, waiting for something to happen and jumps out and gets you. This one is basically represents like summoning a dark monster to your field or one of these is plus because of this one you can negate all card effects and yeah. Plus, then uh, once per turn during your end phase. So, like, if you had this archetype, focuses more on, like, if you, if, if cards that uh, you, you banished, and this will be sent to your deck, basically. That's the main focus of the. So, like, each one of us has two choices. We can either be peaceful and skip your opponent's turn and not be so rageful. Or have, like, bringing out your dark side and just be, yeah. You know, like, I summon this monster in attack mode. Oh, 
tone. And then I summon flames in attack mode. And then the flames would be in, you know, crazy. But yeah. If you guys want me to do a, like, adding a new boss monsters, because I'm thinking about doing... So, I did... This is the Lightning Lord. Or the... I was thinking about doing the Lightning Lord as a big boss monster. And, or the... This would be probably be a support monster. Because the trap card is called... Oh, grave Eve Grabber. What it basically means is that once this card is like special summoned to your field, you basically, or if you activate its effect, your opponent cannot do nothing to it. Like cannot even declare attack because you know. Because it's a trap card and you can banish the monster no matter if it's unaffected by card effects. And, yeah. Plus, then... You can either special summon... And it will be continuous trap card. or So, like... Or not continuous. Counter trap. And like you can banish your opponent's monster. And. Name. Yeah. To the graveyard. And because this archetype. Focuses more on like. Wherever the banish zone is at. Like. The. Flame. One. Is basically you banish the flames. Ames. Or banish five monsters from either a graveyard. And then they. Yeah. So. Yeah. Each one has choices. I know that. I keep getting these stupid. Like. Or not really stupid. But more of a. Political. Like, um, it, they stop scrolling. Lord needs to talk to you and all that stuff. Yeah. This archetype is more of a... Based on, like, how I see the Lord. And, no, it's not, like... It's basically you can judge people... Flames allows you to basically choose either get rid of all graveyards, turns to the banner zone, or sending like monsters to the banner zone to draw two cards, or then, yeah, you know, or choices. Because I would rather choose choices because of. Yeah. You toss a coin and both players like gain or or lose depends on how good your friendship with them. Like you can special summon or you can summon this card, toss a coin, and you can basically Yeah. Because it depends on your friendships with, like, other duelists. If if a person, or if the coin lands on tails, it represents, like, your, like, dueling partner had, or not dueling partner, your duelist 
or that you're doing against would not have a similar intentions like what you have. So that makes it, that's why. And then Light Lord is a, basically this run represents like either be greedy and just skip your opponent's turn turn or peaceful route and yeah so yeah and then we got this run that allows you to basically bam m if you use like book of moon or book of whatever Or to like flip it up and then you can special summon like this card because I can see like possibilities of summoning this card and just basically bam I win and your opponent can't do nothing once it's summoned so like yeah, once per turn during your end phase, you can, yeah. So, yeah, stuff like that. You need to basically have a main plan and a backup plan for it, because each one of these is just powerful by themselves. But they don't carry, like... And for the archetype thing, was Soul Release. One, and that was one. Solemn Judgment was two. And... The number three is Foolish Burial. Yeah. Because each one of these cards, I, I chose those three to fuse together to create this archetype. So... So, yeah, so you can so if you guys want me to do a like a brand new archetype that or maybe send in like a archetype that's like using one or more like characters or real life yu gi oh cards to be fused together to create. Then I can do them. So, and have a good night or day, depending on the time zones. And, yeah. And see you guys tomorrow. Bye.